the game that actually won LSU the West. Not just them winning, but also LSU going down, or excuse me, Ole Miss going down. Alabama 30, Ole Miss 24. Ole Miss ran 12 more plays. Here, we're going to pull it up on the screen so you guys can see what we're talking about. Ole Miss ran 79 plays to only 67 for Alabama. Ole Miss had 403 total yards to 317 for Bama. Ole Miss had more first downs, 22 to 18. Ole Miss had more yards per play, 5.1 to 4.7. They had more yards per rush. They had more yards per pass. They did not have more PPA per play. That is predicted points added per play. Uh, They had a higher success rate. They had a higher standard down success rate. But in the money spots, it came down to Bryce Young, and he was able to make some plays on uh, third downs when they were behind the chains. Uh, Both of these teams were 0 for 1 on fourth down, by the way. Uh, Alabama, seven and a half tackles for loss. Byron Young just lived in the backfield for Alabama. It's amazing what this Crimson Tide team can do whenever they actually play uh, multiple defensive linemen in the game. Uh, Byron Young has gotten to play quite a bit, but they they really let him go after it this week. Um, Let's see. Let's pull up the defense here. Young had 11 tackles, six of them solo, two sacks, two tackles for loss, one pass breakup, two quarterback hurries, and one forced fumble. Bryce Young is a dude. Uh, the matchup in this game that Ole Miss tried to take advantage of was Terrion Arnold. Uh, Eli Ricks went out. Uh, he, he's injured. So Terrion Arnold, who was a safety in high school, he was the guy that Ole Miss picked on, and they were able to have uh, quite a bit of success on him. Uh, so, yeah, there were, there were spots where Ole Miss was taking advantage of of Alabama in this game. Jackson Dart finished 18 out of 31, which I was a little bit surprised that they threw the ball 31 times. It, they did run at 49. Uh, they were only getting 3.9 yards per carry. Quinshaw Judkins, uh, by the way, the freshman, 25 carries, 135 yards, uh, two touchdowns. He averaged 5.4. There were, there were very few linebackers on Alabama's team that could actually tackle Quinshaw Judkins, you know, man up. Uh, that dude is an absolute beast. He is awesome. Looking at this, I this this was a game that I was really shocked to see. Uh, I wrote down, Bama was outgained by nearly 100 yards. It was another final possession game. And if you had told me that Alabama's defense was going to be able to get a stop to win the game, I don't know that I would have believed you. Because this was, this was surprising, right? It just uh, a great win by Alabama, Um, and Lane Kiffin afterwards, I mean, his press conference, where everybody was, you know, Judkins had a great day, you know, you're right there, Uh, how's everybody feeling? And he just said, stop, this is crap, we didn't win the ball game, it's not good enough to get close, you know, it it may have been good in the past here, but like, we're here to win every game, we're here to beat Alabama, and we didn't do it. Like, he, he looked like a guy that had, like, he knew that he had Alabama on the ropes, and he let him escape. That's what it looked like. So it was uh, it was rough to see Kiffin do that. Um, I tweeted out on Friday, I think it was, I think Kiffin's going to be the next coach at Alabama. Um, and this did nothing to dissuade me from that. Uh, his teams are tough. They are not the most talented. But I this this was a fantastic ball game. Uh, I, was, I didn't know what to expect out of Alabama in this one. Uh, not at all, because I we they haven't been in this position since like 2010, like coming off of a game that they lost where they no longer have a shot at the national championship, and they know it, and yet they still played up to a standard. This was, I don't believe this Alabama team is well coached, but they rose up today. Oh, another interesting part about this: uh, Jameer Gibbs went out early. Uh, kind of had like a little bit of a, I don't know if it was a stinger or what it may have been. Um, looking at the stats here, Jameer Gibbs ran the ball six times for three yards and did not touch the field again, I think after like early second quarter. Uh, and yet the report from the sideline was he's available to go back in the ball game, but he never went back in. So... Who knows what's going on there, but Jace McClellan got the majority of the carries, 19 carries for 84 yards. His long was only 12. So those 4.4, like he was he was really doing it. Like he really worked hard. Um, yeah, three yards per carry. This There's something up with this offensive line. There's something up with the 
And the defensive line, when you actually play multiple defensive linemen, is uh, is okay, I guess. Uh, but there's still a lot of things that need to be fixed with this Alabama team, and yet they were able to get the win, even on the road. Which, by the way, uh, not so many penalties in this game. Uh, I was hoping maybe I could I could find the actual penalties, and I didn't. Da, 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 da. Uh, they don't have it on here. Uh, but it was not many. It was not many for Alabama at all. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't see it. I'll find it later. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. Uh, Alabama, off, it, five penalties in the ballgame. That's a change, right? Is it just because the Ole Miss crowd wasn't loud? I doubt it. Like, I, something happened. Something happened here. But, yeah, three offensive penalties and two defensive so you got a pass interference and a face mask, which, who that face mask was brutal. Um, but yeah, delay of game, holding, and legal touch pass. So no false starts, no, you know, nothing crazy. Very, very interesting. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.